is how many amps a four-ton unit, or my four-ton Coleman unit, draws at the initial startup, what they call an end rush. Now, if you were to add the soft start module to this unit, where you can run a port, use a portable generator to run this unit, it would drop those amps significantly, where your 30 amp generator would be able to power this unit. That's the magic of a soft start module, ICM 870s. We make several others out there as well. And once the unit is running, that's how many amps is going. 10 amps. The startup always take the most amperage. What they call an end rush. This is your running amps right here. This is my three and a half ton unit for upstairs that I installed. It's the ICM A7016 now. The one I put on my um, upstairs unit. <clears throat> this is the inrush amperage at the initial startup. It's down to 32 amps. Let me see. I, I didn't have the the right meter at the time when I was looking it up. Well, I had the right meter, but the meter wasn't working properly. It needed to be calibrated. But as you can see, as you can see here, um, those LRA lock rotor amps is 83. If you multiply that by 240 volts, you're going to come up with about 19,000 watts. That's why most portable generators won't run these units. And that's the uh, reason why you install the soft start, so it'll drop those uh, LRAs at the initial startup to like around 30 amps or so, and uh, even 50 amps. And that's going to allow you to use a portable generator to run these units. And as you can see, this unit is pulling. 11 amps running amps 10, 10 amps drop down to 10 but more from 10 to 11 running amps so that's a big drop so it's pulling like 3 amps less than what is rated so that's the benefit of having a soft start module on your unit. And with these, the compressor doesn't start as hard. It's a soft start, so it's gonna extend the life of your compressor on your unit. Peace.